this day kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from mathematical induction so let's get started problem prove that 3 power 2n plus 2 minus 8n minus 9 is divisible by 8 for all n greater than equals to n solution so here we are asked to prove that 3 power 2n plus 2 minus 8n minus 9 is divisible by 8 for all n greater than equals to 1 which means that n is equal to 1 and also greater than 1 okay that means n equals to for n equals to 1 2 3 and so on which means that n belongs to natural numbers since n has 1 2 3 4 and so on okay set of natural numbers set of 1 2 3 and so on fine let p of n be the given statement then p of n will be 3 power 2n plus 2 minus 8 times n minus 9 is divisible by 8. Okay. So, we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to 1. And we'll assume that the statement is true for some k which belongs to natural numbers. And finally, we'll show that the statement is true for k plus 1. Okay. We'll prove that the statement is true for k plus 1 using p of k, right? So, we'll get p of 1 equals to a multiple of 8, okay? Multiple of 8 and we'll show that the multiple of 8 is divisible by 8. And here also, we'll take multiple of 8 which is divisible by 8 and we'll get multiple of 8 okay so multiple of 8 i can say which is divisible by 8 when n equals to 1 put n equals to 1 in the given statement we we'll get 3 power 2 times 1 plus 2 minus 8 times 1 minus 9 equals to 3 power 2, 21, 2 plus 2 minus 8 minus 9 equals to 3 power 4 minus 8 minus 9 is minus 17. Okay. 3 power 4 equals to 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. 3 3 is a 9, 3 3 is a 9, 9 9 is 81. So this equals to 81 minus 17. 81 minus 17 is 11 minus 7, 4, 7 minus 1, 6, 64. So this equals to 64. Again, you can write the 64 as some 8 times 8. 8 8 is 64, right? So, here you got 8 times 8. Okay? Which is divisible by 8, right? So, 64, which is divisible by 8. Therefore, P of N is true for N equals to 1. Therefore, P of 1 is true. Okay, you can also check for N equals to 2, 3. Let's check for N equals to 2. When N equals to 2. 3 power 2 times 2 plus 2 
minus 8 times 2 minus 9 will be 3 power 2 to the 4, 4 plus 2 minus 8 to the 16, sorry, 16 minus 9 equals to 3 power 6 minus 16 plus 9 is 25. 3 power 6 equals to 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3, right? 3 is 9. 81. So, 81 into 9 will be 9 ones are 9. 9 eight is 72. So, 729 is equals to 729 minus 25. 729 minus 25 is 704. Is 704 divisible by 8? No, no, we have to check, right? Okay, 8 are 64. 10 minus 4 is 6. 4 again. 8 8. 64. 0. So 8 times 8 8 is 7 not 4. Okay. 8 8. 64. 8 8 is 64. 64 plus 6 is 70. Right. So you can write this 70 as 8 times 88, which is divisible by 8. So 704 is divisible by 8, which means that the statement is divisible by 8 when n equals to 2. It is divisible by Therefore, P of n is true for n equals to 2. Therefore, P of 2 is true. You can also check for n equals to 3 if you have patience. Okay? Fine. Now let's assume that the statement is true for some k which belongs to natural numbers. Assume that p of n is true for some k which belongs to n. Okay? Then p of k will be 3 power 2k plus 2 minus 8 times k minus 9 is divisible by 8 which means that 3 power 2k plus 2 minus 8k minus 9 equals to 8 times some number say n where m belongs to natural number okay see when n equals to 1 we got 64 which is a positive natural number when n equals to 2 we got 7 not 4 which is a positive natural number which means that I'm trying to say that the numbers are positive so that these numbers we can say that these numbers belongs to natural numbers right since 64 is 8 times 8 and this is 8 times some number right likewise for k I mean for p of k will get 8 times some number which belongs to 
natural number. Okay. So this equals to a times n. Fine. Now we have to prove for k plus one. So consider three power two times k plus one plus two minus eight into or a times k plus one minus nine. This is equals to three power two k plus two plus two. Minus eight k minus eight into one is minus eight minus nine. So this equals to three power two k. Into three power better you can write as three power two k plus four. So you have to write according to your p of k. So here you are having three power k plus two, right? So you can split into three power two k plus two as one term into three power two. Okay. So you are having three power two k plus two in p of k, right? Minus eight k minus eight minus nine a two sixteen plus one seventeen, right? So you get minus seventeen. This equals to three power two k plus two into three square is nine minus eight k minus seventeen. Since we have Three power two k plus two minus eight k minus nine equals to eight times n. Then three power two k plus two is equals to eight m. Take this to two RHS, then you get eight m plus eight k plus nine. Okay, now you can replace three power two k plus two by these three terms. So this equals to eight m plus eight k plus nine into nine minus eight k minus seventeen. So this equals to Eight nines, seventy two m plus eight nine seventy two k plus nine nines eighty one minus eight k minus seventeen. This is equals to seventy two m seventy two k minus eight k. Sixty four, so plus sixty four k, plus eighty one minus seventeen. Sixty four, plus sixty four. So you can write this as. You can write this seventy two as eight times nine into m plus sixty four as eight times eight into k plus again you are having one more sixty five so you could you can write it as eight times eight right so you are having eight in all the terms right so take eight common from all these three terms. You could write it as eight of nine m plus eight k plus eight. See, you got multiple of eight k. See here, m belongs to natural number, k belongs to natural number, and we have all positive plus 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 right plus signs. So obviously, we'll get a number. 
which belongs to natural numbers. Okay. So, let's take this as sum M1. Where M1 equals to 9M plus 8K plus 8. For M1 belongs to natural number. So, this equals to 8 into M1. Okay. 8 times M1 or 8 times some natural number which is divisible by 8. Right. Which is divisible by 8. Therefore, 3 power 2 times k plus 1 plus 2 minus 8 times k plus 1 minus 9 is equals to 8 and 1 which is divisible by 8. This shows that P of n is true for n equals to k plus 1. Therefore, P of k plus 1 such that 3 power 3 to the power 2 times k plus 1 plus 2 minus 8 times k plus 1 minus 9 is divisible by 8. Therefore, P of k plus 1 is true. Thus, P of 1 is true and P of K plus 1 is true whenever P of K is true. Therefore, By the principle of mathematical induction, the given statement is true. For all n belongs to natural numbers. We are given condition, right? For n greater than or equal to 1. Okay? Which is nothing but natural number. So this is all for now. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.